Dude, from my angle, it looks like that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Back with another GM Golf video. Here with my good friend Chase Sinkevich on the channel again. Thanks for having me. Always fun. I'm Chase Sinkevich. I've played with Garrett a lot in the last couple channels, and uh, it's been fun. So let's just have a fun match. He's gotten me out here a lot, so I got I got some uh, got something on my back to play for today. But we'll have some fun and have a good match. 19th and PGA Tour U. So now he has full status on the Canada Tour, which is guys. I mean that's. That's insane. You guys are about to watch the second edition of, of me versus friends that I have in the golf world who may or may not be pro golfers who are just very good at the game of golf. And, and this one right here is probably going to be the hardest one of these challenges. So we're out here at Stonebrier. You guys know the rules. It's 18 holes, match play. I have my work cut out for me today. Uh, we're going to flip a tee to see who goes first and get right into it. Home team first. When we were trying to decide where we were playing, like you guys have probably seen it a lot, but like we've played that other 18 holes. Which one is this one? Is this the Fazio? Yeah. yeah. We play the other 18 a lot on the channel, so thankfully we're playing the Fazio today, kind of switching it up for you folks at home. 366 yard par four to start it off. Nice. That's the play. We need to try and follow that. I got a four iron here. Just trying to play a little low one here. Put one in the fairway. up the left side for the right pin. Should have a good angle there. Middle of the fairway, good start. Gotta stay dialed 100% of the time out here in these matches. I'm excited for today. Got 119, downhill two-ish. So I'm gonna hit probably like a 125 shot because we are into the wind. Definitely gonna be aggressive all day and just go right at everything. Give this guy Garrett a play. Day, boys. All right. All right. <laughs> He's tapping, pretty much, for the birdie. Thought he made it for a second. That right there was a nice way for uh, for Chase to put some pressure on. 103, I'm in between club. I think we're gonna go hard 60. We're gonna try and just carry it and stop it, land it like a pancake, see what we can do. Oh no. Oh. Stay out, all right, all right. We can chip that in. After seeing chases, I just got a little too aggressive there. Flared it out right. That's all right though, that's all right. I had to be aggressive and try and take the pin on. Now I need to chip it in, you never know. Oh. All right. Good shot though, regardless. Thank you, thank you. One down through one. On to hole two, good bird. What's the layup number here? Top of the back monkey's 305, so probably like 260, 270. I'm gonna be soft and hit a two iron. Just at the left bunkers and hope it just stays in the fairway because like you said, the fairways is kind of crucial out here. I think that's good. Is they gonna carry it? Maybe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm gonna try and aim a little left of that. Maybe with this like big old, whatever that is, light post. Thank you, thank you. High spinny cut, we will take that. Well, I'm just happy to be out here. Garrett's a freaking world class guy. Garrett can play. And like, I've seen it before and I've seen it again probably today. So I'm definitely gonna have to bring my A game just to play good against him and have a chance. But we'll have some fun, it's a great day and good to see him. 127, Garrett hit a great one. I got right bunker here. I'm just gonna pitching wedge and hit it probably middle of the green and see where it ends up. Nice shot. One nineteen should be an easy fifty four today. They just watered the fairways, so probably not gonna get too much spin off this. Set, set, set. Yeah, I knew it was a little too much club, but just didn't take quite enough off that. I'm just trying to scare the hole. Looks like a fairly straight putt here. It definitely goes a little bit left. Let's see what we can do for the break. About the same putt, about 30 feet. Oh, that looks so good. Oh. oh way. These greens are sneaky fast. Very. Oh. Can't do that. The table kind of just turned there. This to now win the hole, take it back to all square. Yeah, but no. Thanks. All square. I was just gifted one there, and uh, I'll take it. I'm gonna need those today. 
Par five, hole number three. Very scorable hole. 578, you hit a good tee shot. Probably have about two, 240 in, so full send driver. A1. Alrighty. Right side of the fairway. A little low roller. Put it. Put it. I think it's around the corner. Around it? Yeah. 232 front, 255 pin. I think I'm gonna go like hard four iron. Just try and land it on the front. Definitely gonna have to hit this one hard to get it there, but feel more comfortable in this than hitting a hybrid. It's a little down breeze, so I'm trying to give myself a putt here. Thanks. Kind of shocked you got to the front, honestly. I hit that one pretty hard, but we're in a nice spot. This guy's got muscles now. I got 240, and I'm thinking about going over, and I have to attack it, because he's like 10 feet. That was a heck of a shot. If there's an audience. People would like that. Don't have much of a window here. Might have to open face a four iron and just cut it around. I'm right. Oh, it's not cut it. Yeah, that's fine. Just over the bunker. Honestly, from my position, I'll take this. Not liking where my opponent's at, but hey, he had a great shot. I just gotta get up and down to try to match him. Go on to the next. Dang, that's fast. This one's probably gonna snap right, mainly because of the grain and because of the slope, but let's see if we can knock this in, take it to one up. Oh my gosh. It's a lot faster than I expected, geez. The table's kind of turned, I got a downhill slider. I know you're a good putter, so I want to give it to you, but no, this is not good. I'm gonna see it. <laughs> I got about uphill, six footer, five footer. Gonna break right, just based on speed, so just bang it back of the cup and see what happens. Dead. Barely. Right in the hole. Yeah, now I got about a slider that's moving three inches, four inches to the left down the hill. Nope. Oh, man. I overread it. Didn't move as much. I kind of rammed it too. Hate to see it, Luis. Yeah. Little three putt par. Two gifts of the last two holes. First Chase giving me one and then me giving Chase one after definitely having the advantage on that hole. That kind of stings. I can't be letting that happen today. <sighs> on to the next. I was given one on the on the second, and I just gave one back. So definitely a driver hole here, huh? Yeah, a dog leg left. I only hit cut, so I have to start it up the left and just cut it to the pin. Oh, <laughs> oh my lord! When Chase hits one good, folks, pretty crazy thing to watch. Following that up is not not the easiest thing, but I'm just trying to get it within 40 of that. That's my goal. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's talk about it for a second. PGA Tour and the Live merger. What's going on? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think is happening there? I have some crazy theories. One, I feel bad for the players who are all blindsided, obviously. You wake up one day and you look on Twitter and like your whole lifestyle, your whole job is completely changing. I have no clue, obviously, just, uh, just as much as you guys, what it's gonna look like in the future, but it's pretty crazy to see it all go down. I just feel bad for the PGA Tour players that, that didn't know it was happening and uh, turned down a lot of money to go to that live tour. 128 into the breeze, 54 degree in hand. I need redemption after that last hole. Leave the hole out and make me feel better. Woo. Go in. No. It close. Just short. Dude, from my angle, it looked like that one. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, G's in there tight. Uh, I got 110, definitely into. It's gonna spin. I'm gonna hit like a 115 shot. After that last hole, I was just like so frustrated with myself. Out of this hole, I just told myself I had to hit a good shot. I had to play a good hole. That's my new mentality. I gotta change. I gotta start thinking positive on the next hole. That had to have scared the hole. I mean, it landed right here. Ripped back. That would have been so sick. All right, mine wasn't quite as good. 15 feet up the hill. He's in there close, so just give this one a run and see what happens. Great. Oh. A little left to right. No way. Now it slides. Two good pars through four. 
Still one down. You guys saw it. Still rolled end over end. It's a good roll. Fortunately, just a little bit of a misread. On to the next, par four. Can you get it there? <laughs> How far is it? Like 430. Oh. <laughs> it looks like you could get it close. It's just dead straight, not much trouble. Just send it. You always play cut like that? Only cuts, yeah. I've never really hit a draw my whole life on yeah. purpose. Such a controlled golf swing, that is. I'm gonna see if I can kind of launch it, take a higher approach, ride the wind. See if I can get close to his ball. Just 20 yards behind Chase there. I'll take it. 69 yards here. Pretty solid positioning here. And Mason's showed me this trick on like cleaning clubs. Have you ever done this? Ice. With an ice cube? I don't know what you do, but I'm, I'm sure you just do that. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it, like, the water like melts into the groove. It's a cheat code, yeah. After so many missed opportunities on those last, those last couple holes, it's time we actually make a birdie. Quit messing around. Put it all together, knock a birdie in. Oh, Lord. Oh, Tried to go with the spinner and unfortunately hit it too hard. 67 to the pin, 50 to cover the bunker. I always shoot whatever I have to carry and then add just to make sure. So I obviously have to carry this at least 50 to get it over the bunker and hopefully let it trickle up. But 67, try to land at 62. That's my goal here. Let it roll up 15 feet. Yeah. Hole. Yanked it, but I'll take it. It's all good. Down the hill. The key is reading these greens. We're rolling it well. Greens down and to the left. So I gotta assume that this is, no matter what, gonna try and move left on me. Just gotta get the right read here. Right stroke. Get one to fall. Come on. Do it. Where is the left turn? Come on. Oh, he's giving it. Good Thank ball. you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I wish we were closer here. It's pretty straight, honestly. I'm honestly just gonna play this straight and end over end it. The short game, the on the green performance so far today has been less than good. That's five pars in the first five for me when there was definitely some more opportunities out there. Chase is still one up. We're on to a par three, a very short one. Hole number six. See if we can get these birdies coming in hot for you guys. Wind's picking up, 126. This is a spinner pin. This is like a nice little, you throw it a little bit past into the right. It'll spin right back in the back door. Yeah, I got pitching wedge. I'm gonna play it 35. Land it 28, hopefully, after the wind, and let it spin. I got a 50 degree. I think this is the perfect club here. Come on, let's come on close. Maybe a hole in one. Hopefully that's good enough to make a birdie. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> kind of whipped the wedge there, not gonna lie. 20 feet down the hill. He's pretty in there tight, so I kind of have to go for this. Let's get this going over this hill and it should get all the way there. Not a great effort either. We need one to fall. I'm giving myself so many opportunities today. Hopefully this is the one. I mean, that wasn't even close. That wasn't even in the right zip code. I have to make this awful first putt. Nice. Nice. Plus. Two solid pars there. Here's the deal. I think I'm trying to make putts. That's the problem. I need to settle in, pick some lines, roll some putts. On to the next, par five. See if we can make a birdie. It feels to me like I have to hit a 30 yard hook to hit a two yard draw, so. <laughs> I just know there's room right, so I'm gonna aim at that bunker and turn it over. Two yard fade. <laughs> Go! Oh, it's so pure though. Is it in the bunker? No. Damn. Might be behind the tree, but it's all good. I am trying to do exactly what Chase was trying to do. I draw, hopefully put one in the fairway, put one on the green, make something under par. Like so scared of that left side. Yeah, me too. It's just not worth it though. Damn it. Did it go in it? No, you're outside. Chase out here carrying the bunker. I'm stopping short of the bunker. That's the difference. I don't really have a stance, folks. Kind of wish I was in the bunker. We're gonna aim right here with hybrid. I'm gonna wait till they clear the green. I don't think I'm getting there. 
I don't know, we need something. We've made five pars, sorry, six pars in a row. So let's turn it around here, make a birdie. You gotta expect Chase is making birdie. He's one up on me. Chase is a good player, and you know he's a good player when like he's kind of like scoffing at some shots, hitting some shots he's like not super happy with, hitting some bad putts, and he's still under par. That's when you know you're playing a really good player. Oh no. See you, ball. That was there too, Luis. I hit it hard enough. All right, we're gonna have to take a drop. Hopefully we make par. Not in a great position here either. So I got 215 pin. Just try to hit like a punch five iron that stays below this tree and run it up there. But it's kind of narrow, so we'll just take wherever we end this one. Dropped one here. I mean, this is actually a makeable shot. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm definitely not gonna say it. But this is make. Oh boy, this might be a bogey here. I actually couldn't have asked for a better lie. Got like 20 yards, lands on the down slope, so it's hard to get this one close unless you just put a lot of spin on it. I think we're gonna go away from the line here. I mean, if I miss this, I'm giving Chase his for birdie. You guys know this needs to fall for the par. Hit it. That's good. Let's see if you can knock it in though. Chase started off hot, tap in birdie, and then after that, it was just kind of like a pillow fight. So hopefully we can get something going, but I'm two down on to hole number eight. R3. 181. Attackable pin here. Yeah, front pin. I got eight iron. I'm just gonna high cut. And try to land it right on it. Not bad. See if we can take dead aim here, guys. Make the first birdie of the day for me. Eight iron as well, nice and full. Just trying to attack it. Go right at it. All right, that left bunker is kind of scary, especially with that water there. So that's uh, that's a typical bailout on this hole, but see if we can knock that in. I'm trying to learn the spinner a lot recently. It's kind of a riskier play, but we'll see. We got about the same chip. I'm gonna go low, he'll go probably high. So I'm just gonna try to roll it in there instead of spinning in there. Smoke. That's fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See if we can get some fireworks here, maybe knock this in, left to right. That was quick, I got some good info on that. I think I almost need the spinner here. Not bad. Shot. Got almost as cute as I could with it and it still rolled out a little past. Okay, straight up the hill, into the grain. This has to go a little bit. Good stroke. Oh Ooh. my god. What a catch. Oh, that makes this putt look a little longer, but pretty simple one, so. Ho hum pars right there. On to hole number nine, I'm still two down. You guys know the drill, it's 18 holes, one video, so I think we're just now settling into the round. With that being said, I think through eight holes, we've gotten a little bit of a more, a little bit more of a feel for the greens, so see if we can get some birdies to drop now. I mean, for your cut, this is definitely a driver hole. Can you get this one to the green? No, but you can see the top of the pin. Yeah. And like, that's honestly where you're trying to end it up. Right. So I'm gonna try to hit a cut a little off the bunker and end it up there. Nice. All right. He's warm now. Better. Now is when it gets scary. <laughs> now is when it gets scary. Big bounce. Yeah, that might actually be close to the surface there. All right, I got driver here. Here we go. We're heating up now. The first eight holes, those were those were warm up holes. Now is when it gets interesting. 58, that is a tough pit. <laughs> You almost have to land it like there with a lot of spin. Or do the opposite land it into the slope like I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna hit a 56 degree from 58 yards and land it on the upslope and let it stop on the dime on top. Oh! That sounds way better though. I'll take it, that's a good shot. Try and go with the high spinner. Land it right by the pin, 57 yards. Got a weird lie, but neither here nor there. Let's see what we can do, come on. 
this. I spun it, clipped it nicely, just unfortunately carried it too far. I was kind of just scared of rolling back, but see if we can make a long putt. I don't know, guys, I wish I could tell you exactly what this putt does. This is one of those, I just, again, I'm kind of hitting and hoping. We need this one to drop, because Chase is in there nicely for birdie. Gotta expect him to roll that in. Oh, it's amazing. I thought it was in for sure. I'm gonna snap her, going a little right. The grain's going right, so it's gonna break at least a cup and a half, I think. See if we can get the speed right. And it snaps three times. Right by the hole, the, uh, the greens are just snapping. We gotta get used to that. There's really no excuses. We're through nine holes. We are on to hole 10, which is a very nice par three. Um, I'm two down, guys. See what we can do. 174. That last one was a floater on that par three and it got past it actually. Right. So I think it's playing like 85 here. I'm gonna hit like 180. Little cutter. Let's get down the ridge. Let's get shot. Missed the ridge by about five feet. Is it all like funneled down yeah, in there? It would have gotten all the way to the hole. Really? Yeah. We're gonna go just right of that, hopefully. We got an eight iron as well. I think this is the right club. Come, please. <laughs> Onto the ridge. Go, short. Hey, great shot. That was the shot. Unfortunately, just not quite enough club there. A little too spinny. We're putting for birdie though. Downhill slider. He's in there good. He, we're gonna start making some on this back nine. Just get this one rolling. It will get all the way down there. Break in. Get left. And it goes right. Oh! We're generous today. Chase in for par. Come on. Let's get it to one down. I've scared the hole too many times for one not to play. Oh, okay. Dial it in. I, I've been saying that all day. I need to make some putt. That's really what it's come down to for me. Par golf's not bad golf, but definitely could be a lot better. On to hole number 11. I'm two down still. Par four. I feel like over those bunkers, no? Yeah. Can you get them over there? I think it's a far carry. That's far? Yeah. It's deceiving. That doesn't look that far. That's weird. I'm going to go right down the middle of them and just send it. Oh. If it's carry, this is uh, it's carry. It definitely carry. That's unreal. There it is. Oh my. <laughs> Get warmer, G. Oh my lord. Pars are definitely not gonna win holes. Especially with that. I think Birdie's gonna, probably gonna be what it takes to tie. Try and take more of the conservative route. Go a little more left to that, hopefully. Terry. I mean, that's just another level. Chase is probably 40 yards right of that in the fairway, and I'm still not carrying the bunker. This has got a weird lie. Got a little clump of sand, that's all right. 85 yards. <laughs> Chase is, I mean, he's 60 yards, maybe 40 yards, 50 yards in front of me. Then, not the right. Oh, it stayed on top. Ooh. That's a great shot from there. Thank you. Got lucky. 39 yards. Front pin. Need to spin it a lot though. Good thing the greens are soft and grainy. On these ones, I really just try to use the balance of the club. And you do like, I like to hinge my wrist a lot on these wedge shots because you get a lot more spin with the hinge. And it just allows the ball to lift without really trying to lift it. Because people, whenever they just straight arm it, they kind of make this like U shape and they don't really get it up. They get it just low and with spin. But when you hinge, you get it up with spin. And I don't know who said, I think it was Ben Hogan's quote that I live by now with wedges. but. We're gonna hinge this and hopefully spin it close. It would have been awkward if it didn't pull that one off. <laughs> Down the hill, to be honest guys, this is uh, my guess is as good as yours on this line, so we'll see. End over end. Yeah, about four feet, play it dead straight and back of the cup. It. Oh my days. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. And that broke towards the grain. You should have thought about that one. Uh, this is a great putting performance today from us too. Thanks for tuning in folks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh my. Made par. Great par. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. What uh. the heck? <laughs>
I smoked them. It still snapped across the hole. Yeah, I saw that. Ring around the rosy too on the way back. <laughs> I thought that was gonna lift out for a second. Through 11 holes. I'm still two down. I, I definitely dodged a bullet there. On to the next, very gettable par four. All right, I messed up, guys. It's not a gettable par four. It's actually a par five. Um, and it's a, a pretty tough tee shot. So once you get that down, it's an easy hole. Oh my gosh. Though. I'm, not, I'm not even joking, like you could never place a ball better, ever. Well, we're gonna try and do that, copy paste. Unfortunately, I played draw, so we'll see what we can do. Got a driver in here. Oh, get lucky. Get lucky. Oh, it's a scary left side. Bailed out on the right. It's all right. I was looking down here in the weeds and my ball got car packed. I'm all the way up here. I actually, I think I actually almost outdrove Chase with the car pad. I got so lucky here, guys. You have no clue. I have a perfect angle. I thought for sure I was just gonna have to punch out. I don't have the best lie, but who cares? All right, originally I was thinking I just need to hit it on the green and two putt for birdie, but now we're going pin seeking. I got 200 yards, seven iron, just a stock seven. Really, it's a perfect number. So don't even think, just hit it. And clear to the ground. Well, I think we're putting, but. Yeah. Door is open again. I have a seven iron, but I have to try and like hit up at it almost to get it over this like weird hump of grass. So going right at it, Chase is putting, but just really need to do something guys. Got to get something going here. Running out of holes, come on. I'm happy I'm on the surface. I got an eagle look. Well, I knew I was going to take a lot to get that one there with that little, uh that little upslope in the way, but I'm happy with that swing. All right, I got about 35, 40 feet downhill, breaking a little left. Find your line to hit it, you just gotta trust me. It's gotta move left, it's got to. That's fours. Yeah. That's birdies. <laughs> First birdie of the day for me. <laughs> Two solid birdies there. That's that's not the easiest par five out here. supposed to play golf. We should be doing that all day. Unfortunately, it's take and tell. Hole number what? That's 12? Hole number 12 to uh, have two birdies on one hole, but on to the next, par four. Straight away par four. What is it, 440? 50? 450. Yeah, it's actually kind of deep. Pretty narrow too. Just hit it where you think, down the middle. That was a bomb. I'm gonna try and uh, try and take the same same approach here, and uh, maybe just 20 yards shorter. So good. Thanks. This guy signed up for tour starts. <laughs> Hey, maybe one day, maybe one day we'll give it a go. Two good drives here from uh, from Chase and I. He's probably got about, I don't know, probably 80, 85. Gotta try and put one close, put some pressure on him. I mean, I, I really haven't even scared Chase all day. I think now needs to be that time. Never mind. Been high, just pushed it. 85 yards. Up the hill, got some room behind it. Not much to do besides attack here. Pillow fight all day. We had some birdies on last though, so that was good. Try to stick one here finally with a wedge. Go. Good shot, you gotta expect that. That's where pros thrive. Most of the time when you see pros, I think that's a big difference in pro golfers versus people who are not pro golfers is, is the wedges. And I, I think that that is the most important part of the game. If you're in wet shots like I just hit, you're not gonna score well. Unless I make this putt, but we'll see. It's unfortunate, guys. Mine was uh, quite literally a foot from being right by the hole. Everything just slopes super hard from this right side, and I just stayed above. Right here is where it needed to be, and it's just running right to the hole. Now I'm left with a very tricky putt. I just have to trickle it onto the green. I literally just have to get it onto the green, that's all. And then it'll get to the hole. I'm not even joking. 
if you guys replay that video, I went and fixed your divot and I left this little thing up and it hit it and moved it left. Dang. Oh. Back of the cup should break about a cup left. Yeah. Okay. Three up. On to the next hole number hole number 14. Uh, we have five left. I'm three down. So in match play, you always gotta expect your opponent to make putts. That's one thing. I expected him to make that. Gotta make something happen here. Got a 420 par four. Trouble right. I got a two iron. Just trying to hit it like 280. Have like a one, like a wedge in 140. Just hit it down the middle, hopefully. That's like carrying 270. That's crazy. That's the one I wanted all day. That's weird. I'm gonna play my game. Get the four iron here. I was thinking driver, but this is where in, uh, in rounds you can get overly aggressive and really make a stupid mistake. I'm gonna try and make birdie the old fashioned way. Still scared of the water. Ay, ay, ay. Probably that, uh, that second bunker there. It's doable. 159, it's in between nine and pitching wedge. It's looking like there's a chance I go one on one here on my first two matches. There's also a chance, a miracle comeback. You never know. Oh. All right, Chase. It's unfortunate. Got to make it. And that was the best two iron I've probably hit in a year, by the way. That thing went so far. One story I got to say is people always ask me where I get my power from, and I think I kind of shied away from it the last like six months or so because I wasn't turning my back to target to getting my full rotation and my trunk rotation, which I actually talked to Bryson about uh, a couple of days ago, actually. We were just talking about my swing, and he was getting me to just turn my whole trunk away from the ball and then I, like through impact just get it to rotate better and I kind of was stalling out. I think that's a big thing for me is just being able to rotate fully because if I don't do that, I don't hit shots like this. Remind yourself to always turn all the way through it and all the way back to targets my my new go-to swing thought. So I got 74 yards, tilted lie, pins on a slope, try to land at like 73, probably just land it on the number. Sorry G. Oh, I crushed it. Oh, yeah. Came out hot, but I'll take it. I thought it was going to be a lot closer. 43. I got to make it. That's a great shot from Chase there. One thing that I've always noticed about, like, match play is it always feels worse than it is. It's like, I'm getting destroyed, obviously. This is for me to go potentially four down. It's like I'm, I'm even par. I'm kind of cruising with my round. I'm not, like, having a terrible day. It's just, like, Chase is playing well. He's, I think he's, like, three or four under. So, you guys know what I got to do. Got to make it. Stop dead on me there. That is uh, unfortunate. For the par, needs to go. I expected it to kind of break towards the water. I hit it on my line. Unfortunately, I, it actually went left, but so I'm gonna give this to Chase, but I wanna see if he can knock it in for the birdie. That's crazy. Yeah, we got eight three, par three, back pin. I just got a stock eight. Hopefully we can find the putting surface. You hit that full? I kind of chunked it, but I was trying to, yeah. You're it was trying like a, to chunk it or you're trying to hit a full? I was trying to hit a full, but I kind of chunked it. So I think the chunk actually took spin off, which makes it actually go further sometimes. I gotta make something happen. I have to make birdie. Like, no matter what, it has to be a birdie, at least. I'm going eight iron as well, the comeback would be insane, but comeback has to start now. No. Well, not giving myself much of a chance. Tried to take on the pin and just push it a hair, but gotta chip that in. I didn't bring putter. The odds of him three putting are not great, so see if we can just put one in the hole. That's good. That's good, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Second time's a charm. Oh, <laughs> home par. Good putt, thank you. Good match. Brother, always yeah. a pleasure. Had to get you one of these three times. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well yeah, done. You Good playing. What were you, like 400? Ish, yeah. Ish? I don't know. I think I had, what, one bogey? Four or five or Yeah. 
It's all at the end, too. Well, there you have it, guys. If you want to follow Chase's socials, they're going to be linked in the description down below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that match. I'm now one and one. Uh, one loss, one win. Chase took me down here. Uh, what was that? Four and three. Yeah, four and three. Yeah. Yeah. All I know is I'm one and two against you out here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the channel. Thank again. you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Everyone in the comments, wish Chase good luck out there on the on the Canada tour. We're gonna play this last hole, not this last hole. We're gonna play this next hole as the last hole on the video because it's drivable par four. Perfect. And uh, you never know what can happen, so uh, that ends the match. We're gonna go to the next hole now. Maybe you'll hold on it. He's trying. Come on. No. Oh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, I just want to film those two shots in case something cool happened. Nothing cool happened. That is the second edition. I haven't come up with a name. Let me know if you guys have uh, name suggestions for this series. But obviously, I'm one and one. One win against JT. A loss today against Chase. It was tough competition. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stay tuned for more content. Until next time, guys. Peace.